let's jump into your message our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right guys let's see what's going on with your divine masculines conversations with your masculines i haven't done this in quite a while let's see what they have to say in regards to how they're feeling about you let's talk about that <laughs> all right divine masculines one 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 all right let's see what's going on here tell us oh confirmation already all right speak up how are you feeling about your divine feminines please Oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh the Empress the very first card and let go and let God trust so your divine masters are definitely feeling that yes you're the Empress why not so they know who you are they know they know bringing gifts apologies they know who you are so it's like why are you worried about if they know who you are they see you as this Empress they see you as their empress. They feel like you're the one. Give me something on this empress why you feel this way about the divine feminines here. Give me something on this empress energy. Seven of pentacles. <laughs> it's seven of pentacles, the nine of cups. So this empress is definitely the only one here that your divine masculine sees growth within. They know, 323, three, that with you, there can be prosperity. You make them happy. You make them feel fulfilled. See, all the cups are filled. This person is just happy here. Emotion, stability, everything is in order. You bring stability to these divine masculine's life. Let go and let God tell me more. Yeah, there's going to be a brand new start. So they want to tell you, Divine Feminines, that there will be a new start. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. It's a passionate new start. This, the time is, is near. The time is near. You're at a distance, but the time is near. You can't tell God how to do this. God will do it. The time is near. On the top is the, is the cups. The King of Cups, I should say. The King of Cups. So the time is near for that love offer to come in time is near and we did just see bringing gifts and apologies right tell me more divine mask in regards to how you're feeling about your divine feminines please oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay and the magician you have third party already involved abundance wealth and the magician so your divine maskings are thinking that you may be um, involved with somebody else yeah because you're at a distance you haven't spoken in quite some time so what's going through your mind this person is involved this person may be involved with somebody else and I'm gonna have to go there and fight for my empress my queen my lover so they think there's competition there they think there's competition. But see, they have the plan. They want to start over. They want to start over. Your divine masculines, like I said before, they know that you are their everything. You're their stability. You're their hope. They're, you're their balance. You're their dream. You're everything they've ever dreamed of. They know they can create with you. They know things will flourish with you. Some of your divine masculines, yeah, they, they're, they're manifesting you right now. Because they're dreaming of the life that they want to have with you. They're thinking of what they want with you. They're thinking of being around you. And that's powerful manifestation. Some of you guys may receive a phone call. Something. Wow, look at the bottom again. The overall energy. Let's start over. Moving together. So these are the plans that your divine masculine. Wow. 
that your Divine Masculines are having right now. Wanting to start over, wanting to move in together. So somebody's definitely moving here. Somebody's definitely moving. It seems like your Divine Masculine, whoever this is, may be taking a trip to come to see you. Because their intention is to start over. Their in intention is to be with you. Their intention is to be together. There's a lot of changes happening around your Divine Masculine as well. And the High Priestess. So your Divine Masculine sees you as this powerful being. So some of them may even be watching you. Those who may do um, like, like um, tarot readings or something. So they may even be watching you. Where do I put this thing now? Let's get some more Divine Masculines and why you are thinking about the Divine Feminine in regards to this third party situation. Give me some more here please. Even though it's obvious, but still, I, I just want to hear. <laughs> RC. <laughs> oh my gosh. The world. The world. So your divine masculine, they think that this situation may be completed with you and them. That's what's on their mind. Like, if this person has somebody else around them, then, then it's done. We're over. But, but it, it, it's, it's just a thought. It is just a thought. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. Because their mindset is about to change. Their mindset has already changed. And it's like it doesn't matter if there is somebody else that's involved. You're my happiness. I want my happiness. There's truth and clarity that your Divine Masculine is receiving. Your Divine Masculine is the truth. Your Divine Masculine is the Emperor right now. As much as you're the Empress. That's why they're seeing you in such light. Because their wisdom has gotten better. Their intuition has heightened. They're more spiritual. They're looking to God more. Instead of trying to figure things out on their own. Oh my gosh. Three of ones again. This person's at a distance. But this person's coming. This person wants to complete this situation. They want to get that person out of there. Who they think is there. But there's nobody there. So they want to complete this situation with you and them. Tell me about this abundance and wealth. They're planning that return, Divine Feminines. Five of Swords. Your Divine Masculine, they were going through some heartache and pain. But again, you were their stability. You were their stability. There are other people involved with them. That caused them not to see the truth about you. Your Divine Masculine has been battling these thoughts, these people. Queen of Swords. You hold the truth for these Divine Masculines. And they're seeing it clearly. They're seeing that you're their truth. And I'm your truth. Divine Feminine, it doesn't matter what you do. You have the Eight of Swords. It doesn't matter what you do. There's all swords coming here. So there's definitely going to be communication coming in. There's communication coming in. Your Divine Masculines are finally taking that blindfold off. Yeah. Bring in that communication. Bring in that cup of love. What about this magician here? What are you determined about or manifesting? What's going on here with this magician, please? In regards to how you're feeling about your Divine Feminine. Okay. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They want to end this separation between you and them. They want to end this separation. You see that again? The High Priestess. So your Divine Masculines are definitely seeing you. Wherever you are, they're seeing you. They're feeling you. They may be dreaming about you. But one thing is clear is that they've found the answers to their sorrows. And they're planning this reunion, Divine Feminine. They're planning this reunion. They want to end the separation. So they're manifesting you. <laughs> Happiness. They're manifesting you. The devil. I, I don't like this card. <laughs> 
But what I got from that is that your divine masculine is definitely focused on you. Focus on you. The attraction. It's like it's getting stronger and stronger. They can't resist. Give me some truth on this message, please. Too clingy. Self-worth, self-esteem issues. No wonder that devil came out. Damn devil. And karmic friends. All right. So, like I said before, these are all the negative thoughts and the negative people that your divine masculine were fighting. The people who were hanging on to them, not wanting them to move an inch, not wanting them to grow, not wanting them to, to, to accomplish anything. Their negative feelings about themselves, their self-esteem issues. And of course, those damn karmic friends. Yeah, they're cutting them out, setting their boundaries. Let go and let God cannot make a decision. And jealousy issues. You see? Everything. All the jealousy issues. Negative people. Feed your masculines with negative thoughts. Clinging on to the divine masculines. Your masculines clinging on to them. But right now, they are cutting these people out. Some of them already have, whoever this is. But right now, they are planning for that reunion for you and them. And that's how they see you. This has been your message, everyone. 333. 20, 12 21 oh my gosh and 12 22 take care of yourselves everyone love you the next message will be on the end of your screen just click it it will take you to that it will take you to the message where you can set your reminder so you don't miss it when it goes live all right let go and let god everyone just click the play now button it will take you to the next message to purchase a book or a reading go to twindy flame d dot square dot site for your bracelets and also your bath bombs and your incense go to tdhb dot club love you guys if you go to any of the websites that are in the description box they all work so you can just, so you have choices, all right? You have choices. They all work. Let go and let God. Love you. Enjoy your weekend.